you have kidney problems, this cheap home remedy is one of the most effective ways to lower your creatinine levels fast and naturally. Stage 5 patients who took it for 4 weeks had a 13% improvement in kidney function. Catherine from Double O Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Kidney disease is one of the deadliest public health issues of our time. Even worse, there is a significant unmet need for therapies to fight it. I mean, today, the main therapy for kidney disease is still dialysis. Now, to look on the bright side, there are five reasons why I believe none of you guys is going to end up on dialysis if you still have some kidney function left. Yes, I know, this is a very bold statement, but I have reasons why I'm telling you this. There are five very innovative creatinine lowering remedies and medications that are now available and that can potentially save you from dialysis. Today, we will see what they are and how to use them. Let's start immediately. Our number five is... Number five, Farxiga. Farxiga is the commercial name of dapagliflozin, a very innovative medicine that is going to save so many people from dialysis. And I'm not exaggerating here. This medicine recently received a very fast FDA approval to treat chronic kidney disease because it can literally stop the progression of CKD. This FDA approval can be considered one of the most significant advancements in the treatment of chronic kidney disease in the last 20 years. This is because Farxiga was tested on people with kidney disease with a huge impressive success. In the phase 3 clinical trial called dapa ckd Farxiga was tested on 4,304 participants with CKD GFR from 25 to 75 or stage 2 to 4. The trial lasted 36 months and well, the result of the clinical trial was so above the expectations. The Independent Data Monitoring Committee recommended stopping the trial because of the incredible efficacy of this medicine. Yes, this is why this medicine is already being prescribed to treat kidney disease all around the world. What you can expect if you get prescribed this one is basically to halve your risk for the worst outcomes of kidney disease that are dialysis and death. And this was proven on more than 4,000 test subjects. The reason why this is not our number one is because it's still not approved for people with GFR lower than 25 and also it's not cheap. Still, if you have kidney disease and your GFR is more than 25, stage 4, ask your doctor to get you started on Farxiga as soon as possible. The number four reason I'm convinced you won't lose your kidneys to dialysis is even better. It's a remedy developed and produced in the US with the aim of curing CKD, not just slowing down its progression. It was successfully tested on people in stage five. Number four, Rhinotec Corn Silk Herbal Nanomix. This natural preparation may be a real cure for a kidney disease. Researchers from the University of Akron, Ohio have developed it. It is made from all natural ingredients, including corn silk. Researchers are convinced they found a real cure. And they are not just saying that. They published a study on a very respectable paper about it. In this study, they recently published on the MOJBB, a peer-reviewed international journal, they used this innovative nutraceutical formulation to cure kidney disease in 10 patients. In this table, you can see here, they rated the severity of kidney disease and the cause. All 10 cases were cured, some in weeks, some in months. Recently, this even made the news. The Guardian titled Corn Seal Cure for Kidney Failure. 
Now guys, this may sound too good to be true, but I'm really confident in the potential of this innovative remedy. The reason is that I know what ingredients they are using. The main ingredient here is corn silk, which can lower your creatinine levels even by itself. In a recent study, corn silk extract has been found to repair kidney function in lab testing. Researchers think this is due to corn silk soothing and relaxing effects on the lining of the bladder and urinary tubules, which can reduce irritation and increase urine secretion. And Renotech Herbal Nanomix is also going to contain acacia gum. Acacia gum alone was tested on 36 diasis patients for 3 months. They had a big improvement in the ability of their bodies to fill their toxins thanks to the detoxifying properties of acacia gum. There's only one reason why this remedy is not our number one today. It has no received FDA approval yet, so you still cannot buy it. On the other hand, all the ingredients they are using to make it are already available without prescription for any supplement store. I've talked more in depth about this in one of my recent videos, it's up here if you want to watch it. Okay, our next entry is a prescription medication that's already on the market and that can delay dialysis in stage 4 CKD patients by up to 4 years. Number 3. Cremazine Ast-120, commercialized as Cremazine, is basically a magic pill that some doctors are prescribing to delay dialysis in people suffering from kidney disease in stage 4 and 5. And it works! Patients only have to take 6 pills per day to be able to delay dialysis for up to 4 years. This treatment is so powerful because it can bind to uremic toxins in the organism and then expel them through the intestines, removing burden from the kidneys. I know this may sound too good to be true, but there's a double-blind placebo-controlled study showing significant improvement in creatinine levels after just 24 weeks of treatment with cremazine. Patients in this study also shown an improvement of uremic symptoms, nausea, pruritus, and more after just two weeks of treatment. And this effect works even on people on dialysis. This is because cremazine is an oral charcoal-based toxin absorber. When you take this medicine, it will bind in the intestine to the scores your kidneys cannot remove, such as uremic toxins, excess phosphate, and other minerals, and more. This treatment is also being used to treat uremic symptoms such as nausea, fatigue, troubles breathing, and itching in dialysis patients, and it works! On pre-dialysis patients, it can make the job of the kidneys much easier, giving them the chance to improve. Yes, it can lower your creatinine levels fast! In fact, in a study on CKD in stage 4 and 5 pre-dialysis, test subjects not just had a significant improvement in kidney function in the short term, they also had their symptoms immediately alleviated. They had less nausea, itching, and bad breath in just two weeks. The only downside here is that you can only find this one in some parts of the world, mainly in Asian countries, including the Philippines, Japan, and Korea. But if you can get it, if you live in one of these countries and you have CKD stage 3 to 5, get your doctor to prescribe cremazine to you. Okay? Our number 2 is even better because it's a home remedy you can buy for cheap everywhere in the world and that can lower creatinine levels even in stage 5 patients. Number 2 is Kytosan. Kytosan is a cholesterol-lowering natural remedy which is very cheap and easy to find. It's not a brand, it's a generic supplement. You can find it from different supplement companies. What's so special about it? I mean, it is our number two in a top five of creatinine lowering medicines and remedies. 
is that it was proven capable of lowering creatinine levels in stage 5 CKD patients. The study was published on the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology, a prestigious peer-reviewed scientific paper. Researchers examined effects of kytosan on 80 patients with renal failure. Half of the patients were given kytosan tablets three times a day. The result? After just four weeks, patients had a very significant reduction in creatinine levels compared with the patients in the control group. We are talking a 13% reduction in creatinine levels here. And that's clearly a lot, especially in stage 5 patients. Kaitosan is also an FDA-approved treatment for various conditions besides improving kidney health, as you can see from my slide. It is a popular cholesterol-lowering remedy which is often used to aid weight loss and it's 100% safe. This is why it's so easy to find in supplement stores and why it is so cheap. Actually, it is derived from the exoskeletons of shellfish, chitin, which has the peculiarity of actively absorbing fats, oils, heavy metals, and other toxic substances in water. Sounds a bit like cremosin, doesn't it? The difference is that you don't need a prescription from a doctor to use this one. It's still recommended that you consult one though. Kaitosan should be taken 30 to 60 minutes before eating, allowing it to become activated so that it can absorb the fat and or toxins from the meal. What you should know is that kaitosan can deplete the body of certain nutrients such as calcium, vitamin D, selenium, magnesium, and other minerals. So it's better to get checked for these levels and eventually to correct any deficiency. Also, according to a preliminary study in rats, Taking vitamin C along with kytosan might provide additional benefit in lowering cholesterol. Now guys, before I'll show you our number one, a frequently asked question. Which one of these remedies and medications should you start taking? Our number five, Farxiga, is a prescription medicine. Get your doctor to prescribe it to you if you can afford it and if your GFR is more than 25. This is recommended to both diabetics and non-diabetics, so basically for anyone with kidney problems. Number four, Renotech Herbal Nanomix is not on the market yet, but it will be soon available according to the manufacturer. So stay tuned so I can inform you when it gets released. Our number three, Coramazin. This is another prescription medication, a very powerful one, but it's only available in certain Asian countries. Get your doctor to prescribe it to you if you have CKD and if you live in the Philippines, or South Korea or Japan. It works in all the stages of kidney disease. Number two, Kaitosan. This is a home remedy already on the market. Patients in the study I've shown you were able to lower their creatinine levels taking 450 milligrams Kaitosan three times a day before the main meals. Several other dosages were tested for different reasons. So today we know that doses of Kaitosan of three to six grams per day are perfectly safe. Anyone can benefit from it, especially if they also have high cholesterol levels, but as usual before taking any of these remedies, consult your doctor. Our number one now, the number one reason why I'm convinced you guys following me right now have a very good possibility of saving your kidneys from dialysis is Astragalus. Yes, one of the most powerful adaptogens on earth when it comes to fighting kidney disease. This herbal remedy in particular was proven to be incredibly effective against the progression of kidney disease. In a study published on a prestigious paper, astragalus extract was able to significantly lower creatinine levels of stage 4 and 5 kidney disease patients. If you want to try it, I've used as a part of my creatinine lowering kidney tonic. The video with the full recipe is up here if you haven't watched it yet. Okay guys, as usual, let me know in comment section if you need any info or clarification. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual a new video is coming next Friday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.